What's up, guys? It's the Quincy here to bring you Fairy Tale Chapter 324 review. Now, right off the bat, guys, this chapter Fairy Tale is better than last week, in my opinion. I think what happened to me, probably like a lot of other people out there, you guys, you know, after that horrible disgrace of a chapter 322 was, I think a lot of us lowered our standards for fairy tale chapters. So pretty much any chapter after that that has some good points in it is already going to be better. So 324 is better than last week, in my opinion. You know, whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, so this this chapter fairy tale pretty much only has one major point in it and like two sub points. So sub point number one, guys. Acardius and the princess talking. The princess gives Acardius back his sword and says he should raise his sword to protect his country. Acardius agrees because remember last week he uh, he said he stated that he should honor his queen's wishes. So that's pretty much what he's doing right now. He's going to raise his sword to protect his country. The princess then states she's going to open the gate, the eclipse gate, which is behind him. It's huge. You know, she's going to open it. And then she says she's going to, you know, uh, draw her sword to protect the country. So I'm really looking forward to that. So, you know, this sub point, it's a good. Uh, not a good. Okay. It gets an okay. I like, I like it. You know, I like this part. You know, a few pages, a couple panels, you know. I like this part. I, Cardius and the Princess, they haven't, their parts in the mangas haven't really been good. But I honestly thought last week and this week were, were spot on. They're good. They're good. Alright. So, you know, good, okay, around there. They're ready for this part. The next part is Jalal and Ulter and Meredith run into the castle. Then, you know, that's pretty much it. They're just running to the castle and talking. But then those two, you know, sub points combine. And Acardius, the princess, uh, Ulter and Jalal all state that the, the two people who came from the future came back to protect, to protect this country. So, you know, the Jalal stuff, you know, it gets an okay. Uh, I would like to see more, but, because, I would have liked to see more because Jalal is my favorite, like one of my favorite characters in Fairy Tale. But it's fine, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so let's move on. Main point, the probably the only main point in this uh in this chapter is um Future Rogue, Natsu and Co. Um Future Rogue states he's from seven years in the future. Uh, then, you know, future Lucy's like, oh, someone else from the future just like me? Yeah, whatever, shut the fuck up, future Lucy. <laughs> uh, Natsu, feeling, you know, comfortable, you know, hearing a rogue story and stuff, saying, oh, he's, he must be an ally of us. He must be an ally, so, you know, we're good, we're cool. Um, Rogue then goes on to state that, uh, the future he where he comes from, like you know the screen says, I'm just gonna read it off the screen. I come from a future seven years from now. In seven years, dragon will dragons will have already conquered the world. Not even a tenth of the hum, human population survived, and of course the eclipse doesn't hold anywhere near as much power as it does now. All right, guys, I liked it. I like that part. I like that panel. I love that panel. Not even a tenth of the human population survived the dragon apocalypse. Oh, I'll 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 give you know my thoughts on who survives at the end of the chapter. All right. At the end of the chapter review. And then you know, the stuff with Future Rogue saying that there's two ways to use the Eclipse door. A way to travel through time, Future Lucy, and, you know, Future Rogue. And the second one would be the Eclipse Cannon, which would 
would the Eclipse Cannon, which would be used to, you know, kill the, you know, 10,000 incoming dragons. And then, of course, after this, you know, uh, Rogue, Future Rogue states that there's one person that stops the Eclipse, door, the Eclipse doors from opening. Natsu's like, who is that guy? You know, who is that guy? Who stops the Eclipse gates from opening? Here's where it gets good. Here is where it gets good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Future Rogue breathes in. I can see this. He breathes in. He looks up. And then he screams, Lucy Hartophilia. And then he shoots a shadow sword at Lucy. And then, oh, that, that epicness just goes away when future Lucy jumps in front of Lucy to save her past self. Damn it, Rogue, you missed. You missed. Should have got them both. But you didn't, damn it. Ah, anyways, guys. Here's the little touchy, feely, you know, emotion crap that we should all be used to by now, but I'm pretty much sick of. <sighs> Lucy is comforting future Lucy. Future Lucy states that she does not remember, you know, closing the gates. Could be due from amnesia. That would be my best guess, amnesia. Who cares, you know? It's so Lucy. No one cares about Lucy. And then here comes the tears. From everyone, pretty much. Lucy, from Happy, to Carla, from Wendy. Loki's, you know, chilling, but he's still looking sad, so. You know. <laughs> we should have gotten them both, though. I'm, uh, come on, future rogue. Where's your aim, bro? Aim bought that hoe, man. Get them both. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways. Uh. This one, Rogue states, you know, I'm here to protect the future. So, you know, Rogue pretty much turns into Terminator right now. I am here to protect the future. I am here to kill Lucy Hartophilia. And, of course, this is where Natsu comes in and says, I'm not going to let you. I'll protect the future. I won't let anyone take Lucy's future away. So, you know, next week, we're going to get more of that power friendship shit. Natsu's going to curb, stomp, future rogue. And, you know, that's the end of the chapter. You know. So, that last part. Uh, I'll give it okay. It would have been better if, you know, he got both Lucy's, but he didn't. He got one. Oh well. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll I'll take it. So he got he got you know one Lucy, future Lucy. Of course, we all knew she was gonna die eventually. Um. Let's see here. Right. Uh. This week's chapter of Fairy Tale will not get a basic fat rating. I'll tell you why. Until Fairy Tale can prove itself to have consistently good chapters, say about five, six weeks in a row, then it will deserve a basic fat rating. But as of the moment, it won't. It does not deserve one. Two decent chapters, past two weeks. Decent. Decent chapters. If it continues on and get, keeps getting better and better, then it will get a basic fab rating. But right now, it, it's not going to. So I'm not even going to bother with that. So future predictions. Let's go. I think the reason why future rogue... Oh, is this a future rogue prediction? I think the reason why future rogue kept his hair, half his hair, was to keep, was to hold on to a part of his past. 
the past where you know humanity was thriving it, you know <clears throat> humanity was well populated uh just to hold on to to the part of the past that he doesn't want to let go so that's future rogue pretty much his hair that explains his hair to me that explains his hair now on to that not even a tenth of the human population survived now who I think survived uh pertaining to dragon slayers rogue of course uh sting gajil and natu they're dead they're dead all right those three guys are dead so uh rogue cobra flaxis and windy are the only ones that survived that's my guess that is my guess so that's my guess for the dragon slayers uh mages Quite a bit, a handful of mages, you know, but nothing really, you know, nothing really to uh, battle these dragons with. So, you know what, I guess I'm done. I mean, I'm done. I'm sorry for the, you know, plain review, I guess you would call that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really not in the mood to, uh, you know, get into depth with the review like I should, I should have, but... I'm just not. I mean, until I see these dragons come out, I'm I'm really not gonna get into depth with it. So I'm I'm gonna stop before I ramble. All right, guys, this is the Quincy. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> my Facebook fan page, my face, not the Facebook fan page, and is in the description below. My uh, Twitter link in, in the description below. So is the Shinigami's. And until next week, I promise you next week will be a better review. I promise you. I'm just really tired right now. Okay, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. So until next time, guys. This is the Quincy. I'm signing out. Later, Otaku's. 